Welcome back to another video on the channel. My name is Delonte Freeman, and this is SMB Fitness or Delonte SMB. Right where I talk about the spirit, mind, and body. In today's topic, I got a more spiritual topic that I feel like a lot of my real niggas need to hear. Now, I know that this video might not touch as many views as the other videos when I'm talking about women or when I'm talking about high value men or when I'm talking about working out or self-improvement or anything like that. But this is just as important as some other self-improvement shit because this is self-improvement, right? To improve oneself is become less of a human, right? And more God-like. And how do you become more God-like? You have to walk after the image of y'all. So I feel like it's very important for us as grown ass men and just men in general, people in general, women, men alike, all people in general to understand the times that we're living in. We living in crazy times right now, bro. The times is getting rough. I know a lot of people see that the world is heating up as far as the wars and you know what Russia talking about they they beefing with us as the United States. Is the United States ready for a war with Russia? And America going against China and you know uh, Palestine and Israel and it's just a lot of bullshit going on as far as that. And there's a scripture on that specifically that tells us in these times you know the beginning of sorrows right where Yahweh Shai was talking to Peter. I don't know if that was Peter's actually real name. But Yahweh Shai was talking to one of the disciples, um, which the world calls Jesus Christ. I have to say that, right? Some people call him Jesus Christ, but I call him by his real name. Yahweh Shai was talking to one of the disciples, and Peter, he asked, like, hey, Lord, or one of the disciples. I don't know if it's Peter or whoever, right? But one of the disciples was asking him, like, hey, Lord, how do I know when you will be returning again? And Yahweh Shai told him that there will be wars. There will be rumors of wars, right? Shit would just get be getting hectic on earth. And that is the beginning of sorrows. It's not even a time, the appointed time where the son of man will be coming, but it'll be the beginning of sorrows. And what is a sorrow? What is like the sadness in your heart? Sorrow. So the beginning of sadness, the beginning of depression, the beginning of the great depression, the beginning of the, the, the bad times are here right as i'm getting ready to join this military i'm just realizing bro like these are the times that the scriptures talk about not only have this been going on for decades right since i was in the beginning of you know when born and beginning you know with 9 11 and all these different world events with the covid and all these different things happening right so who's to say that it's now but as i'm getting older i'm realizing that there can possibly be a world war three and with World War Three, there comes nuclear war and, you know, more techno technological advances, you know, in war. The weaponry has gotten better over the years, right? Um, the, 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 the warfare has gotten better over the years. The tactics have gotten better over the years. Think about it. When you have years and years to study a craft, to do something, if I'm just spending 13, 14 years working out, which some niggas say that they do when some niggas really be on the juice, but some niggas say that they spend years and years working out so they meet muscle heads. Like, you can see me right now. This is probably, I would say, at least three years of work. So when you see me flex on the, on, the, on, the, on the page and when I'm looking good, you see the cuts, you see the chest looking nice, just remember I've been doing push-ups for at least three years now. Even if you're a beginner, you have to realize that your physique would never look like mine because I started in a whole nother, I'm in a whole nother race, right? So when you have time to study something or when you have time to do something over the course of years, you got to realize that it's only getting better. Like, like, and I'll just say this as an example, my little brother don't understand it. My little brother is currently locked up and he be talking shit on the phone all the time, right? One of the things he like to say is, you don't know my strength now right? You don't know my strength now. I really knock niggas out. We can really get it in. We can really fight. You're not going to be beating on me no more. Blah, 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 blah. But I have to tell him and I, and I, I haven't reminded him, but it's like, I don't even need to remind him, but he doesn't realize that if he's getting stronger and older and wiser and quicker on his feet, then I can't help but do the same thing. 
especially the fact that I'm working on myself, I'm doing push-ups or whatever I'm doing continuously over the years that you've been gone, you may be doing those things also, but I am doing those things also. So it's, 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 you, you can't really be, but that's just, you know, a little child's play. That's nothing compared to this video, but I wanted to use that analogy just to say the times that we're living in is getting there. It's getting there, bro. There will be famines in these times, according to the word. There will be droughts. You know, there will be, and man, the world is heating up. You get what I'm saying? It's heating up. And we should have seen that coming with the with the vid 19 this the vid 19 the 19 i don't want to say it because they be watching and monitoring my videos put a little stuff down in the comments and put a little stuff down under the video when i talk about the flat earth they will say a lot of different things like oh the earth is actually brown Wikipedia says and little shit like that just to show me that they monitoring and watching my videos so i don't really want to you know go too far into saying certain shit but because they take all this shit that i worked hard for i'm already not getting publicity i'm already not getting people watching so for them to take some shit and i have to rebuild it for what right like i said man in these times times will be getting hard bro they'll be getting hard and and they are there they are getting harder actually they're starting to heat up and there is famine amongst the land right with the recession right some people are i wouldn't even say starving but some people can't even eat for real like i ain't gonna lie i don't know about y'all but it's fucked up over here for me and mine right my dad doing good he ain't got no child support no more and he working every single day and he's stacking you know what i'm saying he getting shit together which is good right but a lot of the people that i realized who had shit growing up like my aunties and i'm not putting nobody business out there but shit it's getting crazy with this recession, bro. So there is famines, so to say. Some niggas ain't eating as good as they was. I'm not eating as good as I was. You feel me? Not to say that there's a famine, like a lack of food, like in, in entirety, but in a way, the food is going down. The price of shit is going up. People can't afford it. The rich is only getting richer and the broke and the poor is only getting poorer right so there's a great divide in that but the scriptures tell us and they warn us about these exact times bro the exact times that we living in the very own scriptures that a lot of people don't believe in is playing out in front of our fucking faces bro and this is why i get so serious about the truth right because when you're believing in a lie, when you decide to, you know, use the TikTok, when you decide to use the Instagrams, when you decide to use the social media, such as this platform itself, right? YouTube, whatever it is, it's only a distraction from the real shit that's going on, right? And social media could be also used to push bullshit in your face to make you think that the world is way worse than what it is. So when the market of beasts do come, you will have to just submit to it just so you can buy and sell. Because even in even in uh, Revelations, the scriptures tell us that people will not be able to buy or sell, you know, unless they got that mark on their wrist or their foreheads. And the mark is the mark of or the number of man, which is six, three times, six, six, six. Right. So times is heating up and they want you to know it and they pushing it on this shit on the social media. They want you to know it so they can cause fear. Right. And with fear, you know, and when, when fear comes, people will just automatically just start losing their mind, giving up shit that they never thought they'd give up. Right. There's a saying going around and it's some some homo stuff, but I'll use it right on this video. It's a saying that a lot of kids like to use is either suck penis or let your mama die. And in that situation, you in a fear situation, you go against all morals and all morals go out the window once you start to fear things. You know what I'm saying? I just use that analogy just to get this point across. You know what I'm saying? So they pushing fear like a motherfucker in these TVs and televisions. So you can be like, man, most high. I don't know most high. Like, you got to understand most high. I got to do what I got to do. Which at the same time, that's where I'm at, right? Like, I'm in a position where I'm getting ready to join the military. But at the same time, I'm questioning it because it goes against not all of my morals. It's not necessarily going against my moral, but I, I just hate this fucking world so much. And I understand that the world and working directly for the world is low-key like an enemy to the most high. You know what I'm saying? 
because the world hates the most high. And the reason I understand that, the reason I know that is because I've done tons of research. So if you hear me talking, you're going to be like, how? Right? Because you have no understanding, you have no knowledge, and it's just up to you to do your research. I'm, I'm going to give you a few things to search after watching this video and look it up right now. And I'm going to end it on this note. Look up the origin of Christianity. Who influenced Christianity, right? Look up that. And when you look it up, it'll take you back to the Roman. And then when it take you back to the Roman Catholic, you will see that the Romans were pagan. And then if you see that the Romans were pagan, and you see that the Romans is influenced modern Christianity. And, and, and this is the second thing I want you to look up. What is the most popular religion in the world? The, the biggest religion in the world, the number one religion in the world, and that will be Christianity. That is a world religion. So when the scriptures tell you that the, you know, a friend of the world is an enemy to the most high, why? The world is making it cool to be a Christian, changing all the old history, changing all the books, changing the name of the, the Messiah, changing the name and making it modern. The new living translation, new international version, new, 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 new. Another word for new is modern. To modernize something is to take the old out of it and switch all that old shit around, take that old out, like, oh, these old parts, let me put in some new parts. All these old breaks, let me put in some new breaks. As if the old ain't, ain't, ain't the old. You get what I'm saying? And those scriptures tell us that ain't nothing really new under the sun. If somebody say, let us do something new, they lying. Ain't nothing new. So what, what's happening is Rome is trying to take control of the world again and people from back in the day Nimrod's people and all these different stories of the ancient Bible is happening in today's era so when I say that you know working for this government and working for this world is low-key like selling out it's low-key like going against the most high I mean it but I'm my back against the wall I already told my people I'm gonna do it you feel me I got a test coming up on the 24th I'm going to take it. If I get in, I get in. If I don't, I don't. But this will be the second time that I try. You feel me? So when I say certain shit, I ain't just talking out the ass. I'm not just watching some shit and watching people say things and just believing it. I do my history and I do my research. That's why a lot of the Christian groups that I've been a part of or a lot of these people, I just can't make it and, and I, I just can't seem to be a part of these groups because they haven't done the actual research to go back in time and to realize the times that we're living in and to realize the shit that we're doing is all a part of their fucking agenda. They want us to be Christians. You feel me? They want us to know this shit, this lie. They don't want us to worship the most high. They don't want us to know our own identity. The best way to trick a motherfucker is to act like you don't even exist. That's the greatest trick of the devil, acting like he don't even exist. The best way to do it is Christianity. If I put a million motherfucking churches, if I put a million motherfucking uh, shit talking about God, then everybody gonna think that they doing good. They're not going to know to follow the real laws because we already pushing shit. We already making it seem like it's good because Christianity, Christianity. But they're not going to know that this not obedient to the most high when you don't follow the laws. When you don't live by the book. When you don't do your history. When you don't worship him in spirit and in truth like the scriptures tell us. You got to worship him in the spirit and the truth. And how do you worship something in truth? You take it back to the original. Jesus is not my Lord and Savior. Yahweh Shai is the real man in the word. That's the son of Yah. You feel me? So this is just a message for my people out there because as a real person, I wouldn't be doing my due diligence and I wouldn't be serving my purpose here on earth if I don't talk about the shit that actually matter. If I'm just constantly feeding some shit to try to take care of my family or to get some fucking views and some clout that I don't even care about. I want to use this platform. I want to use these fucking views. I want to be using all this stuff, you know, to talk about something that's real. Kill me if they want to. I don't care. I die for what I believe in. It's always death before dishonor. I would never go out dishonorable. I would never go out like no punk. Never. 
I've always fought the biggest bullies. I've always been, never took my tail, never been no fucking coward. I never ran for nothing. And a lot of niggas who've been around me, they'll tell you. When a lot of these niggas that's in jail, a lot of these niggas that died, they've been around me hand, firsthand. You feel me? They got these images. They look like they the scary ones, but the scary ones is the ones that don't even want to be scary. They want to be nice. They want you to think they cool so they can backdoor you and snake you. I've been through it. I've done it. You feel me? Those are the real ones to look out for. Not the ones who say they bad. Not the ones who got the image of being bad. It's the ones with the kind and loving hearts. Because when you got that love for the most high, you got the power to really do something. Think about it. And I, I ended on this note. The most high, right, is a man who made hell. He dwells in heaven, but he made a place called hell for people who don't want to be with him. And if hell is such a bad place, right? If hell is such a bad place, but it came out of love, a man of love made that place, right? Because you ain't want to be with love because I created love. You ain't want to be with me. I made a place that has no love in it. If a man like that, a man full of love, the man who created love, if he can create a place like hell, you really need to be scared of ones who love. You feel me? It's not these ones who big and bad and acting brave on the ground. The niggas is cowards. I see straight through the facade. It's the ones who not acting big and bad. It's the ones who spread in love. You gotta be scared of. And these demons, they fear the real ones of the most high. They fear the people of Yah. They fear these Israelites. Some of them. Because the Israelites, that's a whole nother topic, which is a group and shit. They, they believe in some totally other stuff, which is kind of the truth, but it's mixed with lies. So if something mixed with lies, then it's the lies in, in general, right? They fear these people who really about this word. They fear people who really about the most high. They fear us. They fear us. Because we lovers. And our father is to be feared. Feel me? Cowards. I'm out. I know if, if I keep preaching and teaching this game, the money going to come. All I got to do is just teach and preach this game and stand on it. But the one thing I am going to be on y'all about is them likes. I need them likes, man. I need them likes. Some people going through it to get to it. So I wouldn't dare ask you for no money. But the least you could do is lift your finger to click on that thumbs up button. That's all I want you to do.